I'm going to talk about what we do, and we probably do it every day, you know, at least most people, to weaken our immune system uh, in the things we eat and, ca and causing our immune system to get, uh, so it can't fight the way it's meant to fight. The one thing is sugar. So sugar is going to definitely weaken the immune system. And all these things, by the way, deplete calcium, which the white blood cells need. So the white blood cell, it'll come in and when there's a virus, say, let's just say there's a virus, the white blood cell immediately needs calcium. So if we're doing things to deplete, this depletes the immune system by depleting calcium, that's how it's gonna affect the immune system. So sugar, number one, horrible for the immune system, no good for the body, it doesn't help us in any way whatsoever. If I remember right, the average American eats about 177 pounds of sugar every year. Now I don't, you don't take sugar and just eat it, you're getting it in the foods that you eat. Okay, so number two is white flour. White flour is another immune system disruptor and another calcium disruptor. So it's gonna affect the ability of white cells to fight in the immune system. Number three is white pasta, which of course is white flour, those are one and the same. And the, you know, number four, I got alcohol. Alcohol does some things, it depletes the calcium. I was just reading a book over the weekend uh, about a big lab book that goes through all this type of stuff and how alcohol will deplete both calcium and weaken the immune system. And of course, nicotine is another thing. Now nicotine, of course, parasites feed on nicotine. I've had patients that we found parasites in they were smokers and those, those uh, parasites are feeding on that nicotine. Uh, nicotine also decreases iron. I've seen that a number of times too. Patient comes in, they don't get their blood work. Uh, they come in, I run their blood work and they're anemic. They're in iron, iron deficiency anemia because they've been smoking, they've been depleting the iron. And I've seen some people in so low, you know, that the lab report will say alert, you know, but, which means this is really bad. So. Uh, the other thing is caffeine. Of course, caffeine, most people like it, but it also harms the immune system and also is going to deplete calcium. Now, the thing about this, like I said, the white blood cells need the calcium. And when that virus comes in, that virus is going to trigger, hey, I need calcium. We don't want these guys pulling calcium out of the bone all the time. We want to be taking the correct calcium. So. This is, we don't want to be depleting calcium because a lot of things we do prevent calcium movement, like taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. That prevents calcium movement if you take them chronically. If you take them just, you know, I took one something tonight or, you know, next, the next week you took one. I'm talking about, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about keep taking them. And it's going to stop calcium movement. Of course, that can affect the heart because the heart needs calcium. So... That, those are the things. Now, the thing is, too, these guys, one, two, three, four, sugar, white flour, white pasta, alcohol, will all help you to gain weight. And when you're above your maximum weight, you know, in other words, let me rephrase it, your optimal weight, so my optimal weight is about a 185. The farther I would get above 185 would, would start weakening my immune system. Because the heavier we are above optimal weight, you have a weaker immune system. So those are the things you can just do to st start helping your immune system, you know, and also helping your calcium, have more calcium in the body. All right. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.